Becoming fluent in Japanese is a fantastic dream that many people aspire to. I want to learn Japanese so badly. <laughs> but that's yeah. why I want to learn Japanese. But that's like a goal in life, to learn Japanese. What is your dream language? Japanese is my dream language. I want to, I want to learn Japanese. I'm actually learning Japanese, okay? I just want to fit in. Excited students buy all five Japanese from Zero textbooks and eagerly begin learning. I'm going through the uh, Japanese from Zero workbooks. Guess what came? My first book. And what do you think about George Trombley's Japanese from Zero? Heard it's the best way to learn Japanese. George seems like a nice guy. I've heard good things. I've never watched a video <laughs> and I've never looked at the books. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese from Zero, like I always use these books and they're really good for self-study. Had I done this book from the beginning, my Japanese would probably be where it should be today. It's very accessible. It makes it feel like Japanese actually isn't too complicated a language to learn. So I'm really enjoying that one. This one has really taught me all the Japanese that I know so far, which is not a lot, but it's a lot more than I knew before going into it. Japanese from Zero, never heard of that one. Oh, is that that white dude? In the beginning, it's great. Japanese is easy, you think. But your Dunning-Kruger delusions evaporate right around the lessons teaching Japanese family members, or more likely the days of the month. Because the reality is, learning Japanese isn't fancy or exciting. Not demure. It's like getting to level 50 in Pokemon Go. Catching an event-themed Pikachu is exhilarating at first, but eventually you wonder, is it worth the storage space? After all, who needs 30 Eevee wearing a special hat with an IV score of 53? That Eevee is trash, but in order to reach level 50 in Pokemon Go, you need to catch that trash Eevee over and over again. This video and what you will learn here is important in the same way. In isolation, this information is useless, but in the overall journey of you going from zero to fluent in Japanese, you absolutely need to know the verbs in this video. I'm Doris Trombley, and I'm currently level 42 in Pokemon Go. I'm also the main author of the Japanese from Zero book series, which has sold somewhere around 500,000 copies. About like 500,000 copies sold. For those of you with aversion to books, our talented team of coders put together the FromZero.com learning website. But enough promotion. Let's get to the mundane task of you learning some Japanese verbs on your way to Japanese fluency. But I'll need to go back to the studio for that. From Zero. You zero from zero to zero. What we're going to do right now is we're going to look at seven or eight YouTubers using the verbs that we're going to learn today. Get ready, get your notebook. This is going to take time. It might be 30 minutes. I don't know. I haven't made it yet. We're going to then watch those YouTubers again with a little bit more context. And we're going to go deep dive hard into what they're actually saying. All right, now let's look at those verbs. Let's catch some of those Eevee and let's do the grind to actually learn Japanese. First verb is ageru, to give to equal status people or inferior people. Now, when I say inferior or superior, I'm not talking about anything but like status in the workplace, you know, or status at school or age or something like that. It doesn't mean you're a better person or a worse person when we say that, okay? So the first pattern is thing o ageru. The thing that we're giving is marked with the object particle o, to give a thing. For example, presento o agemasu. I'm giving a present or I'll give you a present. Ageru is always from somebody to somebody, from you, the speaker, to somebody. We mark the person giving with ga, and in some cases we can use wa, if we wanna show some special emphasis. And the person B, the person that we're giving it to, is marked with ni. A san ga, B san ni agemasu. A, mise, mise, isn't that a K pop? Misei is a K-pop group, I'm 100% certain. Miss A will give to Miss B. In this particular picture, that's what we're talking about. And then we can put it all together. Person A ga, person B ni, thing o ageru. Each of these can even be broken up. For example, if you said person A ga ageru, means person A gives. Person B ni ageru, give to person B. Thing o ageru, to give a thing. A san ga, B san ni presento o agemasu. 
A san will be giving to B san a present. We're saying Miss A is will give. Is will give a present to Mr. B. Thank you, George Trombley of the past for that typo. No problem. That you did so well. It's in every one of these videos. It's just part of the culture. It's part of our corporate culture to have typos. Whoa, holy moly, that is a big typo. That is obviously me not properly editing the PowerPoint. Next verb is yaru. Now, yaru also means to give, and this is a little bit confusing. Ageru is to give, so is yaru. Yaru works exactly like ageru, except it's always giving down, okay? or to animals or plants, which are considered lower than humans, okay? So it's to someone inferior. You would never wanna use yaru when talking like, I'm gonna give this to you to a teacher or to your mother or to someone in a higher position than you. That would have to be ageru, thing o yaru, to give a thing. For example, mainichi mizu wo yarimasu. We're looking at some sort of sprouts here and every day she gives water. Person ga, person, animal, or plant, ni thing o yaru. Person gives a thing to a person, a plant, or an animal. These are easy. Onanoko ga hana no me ni mizu wo yarimashita. Now, this me does not mean eye, like eyeball. It doesn't mean that. This is like a sprout. It's a flower sprout. Onanoko ga hana no me ni mizu wo yarimashita. The girl gave water to the flower sprouts. Chichi ga haha ni. Necklace What does this mean? What is chichi in Japanese? Not Spanish. And what is haha in Japanese? Chichi means my father. And haha means my mother. You couldn't say to somebody, anata no chichi, unless we were talking about the Spanish version of chichi, which would be very awkward to talk about someone's chichi. You see my shirt? Only a little chichi out. Very awkward. Okay, not demure. <laughs> um, and haha is my mother. So what does this mean? Who did the giving? Ga marks the giver. My father gave. If you want to know how to dissect the Japanese sentence, the very first thing that comes up typically is the person doing the action. Then go all the way to the end of the sentence and find the thing that they did. Because English likes to have the subject doing the thing followed it immediately by the thing that they did, whereas Japanese always ends in the verb, so you can go to the very end of the sentence. Father, my father gave, come back to where you were, to my mother, hahani, a necklace. My father gave a necklace to my mother. All right. Sakana ni esa wo yarimashita. You might not know the word esa. It's food, but for animals. It's like saying feed. Like, I gave my horse some horse feed. Feed or food that you give the animals is esa. Sakana ni to the fish. Again, we go to the end of the sentence. I gave food or I fed my fish. Sakana ni esa wo yarimashita. We are saying yarimashita because we're talking to an animal. By the way, if you ever go to the Japanese zoo, it will say, Please don't give food to the animals. Sorry to interrupt your extremely well-crafted video, but uh, do you guys know about the Mandela effect? Pretty sure I just found a new one related to Japanese. If you don't know what the Mandela effect, it's where things seem to have changed that you were certain was different when you were younger, for example. The Berenstein Bears, which is exactly what I thought it was, and I definitely had a Berenstein Bear book and the treehouse, but apparently it's called Berenstein Bears, literally spelled S-T-A-I-N. I swear, I swear it was S-O yaranai de kudasai. But look at this, every single one that I look at, says esa wo atae nai de kudasai. Ataeru is to furnish somebody with something, to provide. Do not provide food. None of these say yaru, and some of them even say age nai de. None of them say yara nai de. Look, uh, it's not that I forgot Japanese, it's that Japanese changed. Next verb, kureru. Now this also really means give. Now in English, we have give, and we say like, I gave it to my teacher. I gave it to my little sister. I gave food to my fish, to my dog. And you can say, he gave it to me. We have one verb for giving. Japanese has ageru, yaru, and now we have kureru, the third. But kureru has limitations. It's only when being given, when someone gave it to me. 
There's always another person that gave it. So if you're saying he gave it, she gave it, they gave it, so-and-so gave it, it's kuremashita. Okay? Kureru. Okay? So person ga thing o kuremashita. Person ga thing o kuremashita. Person gave me a thing. It's typically always talking about the speaker. The speaker was given the thing. Okay? Speaker is the receiver. We'll show you how you can... Little bit of fudge room on that in just a second. So, mama ga candy o kureta. I want you to imagine the scenario. Maybe you're, you're in school and the teacher says to the children, Ja, mina san, kino, i koto, nani ga atta no ka, hitotsu yutte kudasai. Everyone, please say one good thing that happened to you yesterday. And a little kid raises his hand. He's four years old. He's like, mama ga candy o kureta. Mama gave me candy. And yes, they say mama. Mama gave me candy. Mom gave me candy. Speaker is the receiver. When you say kureta, it means gave me. So the kid said gave me candy. That sentence will never really mean mom gave candy to someone else. It'll always be gave to me. Remember that. It's important. Otonari-san means, what do you think it means? You know that Miyazaki anime that you've all watched? I promise you've watched it. If you haven't, you should. What are you doing with your life? Tonari no Totoro. My neighbor Totoro. Here we're just making it more polite by adding the O on there to put an honorific and adding San to make it more polite. Otonari-san ga... What do they do? What do they do? Go to the end of the sentence. They gave. Now, remember, I just said gave to me. That's what that means, right? Remember, I said that, right? But we have a knee here. Uchi no ko, my child. Gave to my child. Okashi, a snack. Okay, our neighbor gave my or our child snacks. Before we explain why we can do this, remember that uchi means home. But it also can mean my when you make it uchino. And it could also mean our. And it's super common in Japanese. They say, a uchi no inu ga, our dog. It also can mean my dog with that. Okay. Uchino is very context sensitive. You have to know what's happening in the situation before you can determine if it's an our or a my. Here, we just said that the speaker is the receiver. But obviously, if you say our neighbor gave my child snacks, that's a parent that's saying it. That's because even though the speaker is a receiver, it can also be an in-group, someone in the in-group, family, someone in your company. So if you're in part of that group, you can, as a representative of that group, say, kuremashita, they gave to someone in my group, okay? Uh, by the way, I want to say this. Japanese is sloppy. You learn a rule and it immediately gets broken. It's very common. And we're learning these verbs and we're getting ready to learn a little bit more and we're going to talk about politeness levels and all the things like that. And then I'm going to break that rule right away. This is what makes Japanese a little bit difficult. This is what makes anything difficult. But we're talking about Japanese right now. Because you'll learn a rule and you go, okay, I got it. I got this rule. And then immediately you'll watch like a drama or an anime or some YouTuber, someone on TikTok. And they'll be like using that in the wrong way from what you learned. And it's very confusing. It's because some rules have play because humans have feelings and emotions and they have their own understanding of how language works so just because i teach you a rule or because you read a rule in japanese from zero books or on the website or genki or whatever book you end up using that rule can sometimes be broken very naturally just like remember this guys when you were a kid don't say ain't your mother will faint your father will fall in a bucket of paint but it's okay sometimes to use ain't because sometimes you want your dad to fall in pain. I don't know. But it's like a rule that we have that we break all the time. We say, I ain't going to do that. And it's not a big deal. And sometimes if something is said a lot, that now becomes the norm for the language, even though it might not be in a textbook. Textbooks cannot teach you everything. Our textbooks try to teach you a lot, but we can't. I actively sometimes don't put things in the textbook because I think it'll just hurt the student. I actively will say, you know what? Not here. Because I'd rather have you have a general understanding and then later on, maybe in a higher level book, I go, okay, by the way, remember this? Here's your general understanding that we learned. Here's the specialty standard thing that we learned, okay? We're going to kind of be learning a little bit of that today. Back to the main video. So now we're going to learn the two receive verbs. There's two of them. There's morau and there's itadaku. Both of these mean to receive, okay? Morau 
is equal or inferior and itadaku is equal or superior because they're both equal it means they can be used in the same situation okay person kara or ni item o morau or itadaku to receive an item from a person now this is a little bit tricky both of these will translate as from from a person even though this is the only one that really means from this means to so this is a little bit confusing but you cannot receive to a person that doesn't make sense this gets translated to from so it's person ni moratta i got it from a person or person kara moratta now i had a discussion with my wife about this i'm like well what situations can you think where you'd be forced to use kara or forced to use ni and she gave a really good one she said let's say you receive a present or like a souvenir from somebody that came from somewhere so they got a souvenir from Japan from a person. Having two karas in that sense, like sensei kara from my teacher, nihon kara no omiyage o moratta. I received a souvenir from Japan from my teacher. That would be more natural to say something like sensei ni nihon kara no omiyage o moraimashita. I got a, or itadakimashita, either one. I got a souvenir from my teacher in Japan. So that's one where you wouldn't want to have two karas in the sentence because it just sounds weird. So they'll use ni. That's just a simple example. Okay, but kara and ni are equal. There's no difference really in what they do. All right, all right, moving on. Itoko kara kagi o moratta. Now, before we look at this sentence, just notice that there's two kanji here. This kanji right here is the kanji for little brother, and this is the kanji for little sister, so ototo and imoto. But this is when you have a boy cousin, itoko. A boy cousin is this kanji, and a girl cousin is this kanji. Kind of cool. Thought I'd throw that in there for you guys as a bonus piece of information. So from my cousin, what did you get? A key. Even though morao means to receive, it gets translated in English as get sometimes. I got the key from my cousin. Maybe you were going to go to their house and you didn't have a key and they weren't home. Like, how'd you get in? Oh, I got a key from my cousin. My cousin gave me the key, right? Itoko kara kagi o moratta. Here's a good example. Maybe that omiyage, that souvenir was Japan. Nihon kara no omiyage would mean souvenir from Japan. So here ni would be very nice. If you had kara, it'd be awkward. Bucho ni omiyage o itadakimashita. Omiyage. In my brain, I always think of this as omiyage. You know, I always mess that up. It's miyage. Miyage. Bucho ni omiyage o itadakimashita. Omiyage we know a souvenir. Itadakimashita means we recede from an upper. We're trying to show a little bit of respect to that person. That's why we're using it. We are lowering ourselves and making ourselves humble to give respect to bucho. We know shacho. We've used that a lot. Shacho means company president, the head of the company. Cho means head of something. This is a group bucho. Like if you are in a club after school, the person who's your club leader would also be bucho. But it's also in companies called section chief. So I received a souvenir from the section chief. Final verb, tetsudau, to help out. Tasuku wo tetsudau, to help with a task. Nihongo no shukudai wo tetsudatte kudasai. What does that mean? Say it out loud in English. Nihongo no shukudai wo tetsudatte kudasai. Please help me with my Japanese homework. Okay. Nani ka tetsudai mo ka? Learn this phrase and use it a lot. It's a very good respectful phrase someone is doing something and they look like they're struggling and maybe you want to offer to help this is how you offer nanika tetsudai mashouka nanika means something tetsudai mashouka shall i help you with something very nice all right testo timer ready here we go these are the verbs that you can use ageru to give yaru to give kureru to give Morau to receive. Itadaku to receive. Tetsudau to help. Let's look. More than one verb sometimes works. Let's explain how that can work. So here we have inu ni esa o mm, something mas. What would it be? Let's look at it. Could we say agemas? Give to my dog? We'll see. Maybe. Can we say inu ni esa? Esa meaning feed, right? Gave food to my dog. In this case, if it was yarimas, could we say inu ni esa o kuremas? Maybe we could, because the dog is kind of in our in group. Maybe we're talking about a friend that comes over and always gives food to your dog. Theoretically, that would work because the dog is in the in group. Yeah, we could say that theoretically. 
Could we say, inu ni esa o moraimasu? That would be awkward. That would be very awkward. It would mean you got food from your dog. Uh, same thing with itadakimasu. Like, inu ni esa o itadakimasu. means I will get food from my dog. And you're putting your dog on a pedestal, which some people do. Uh, inu ni esa o tetsudaimasu? Mm, doesn't really work here at all. There's no way this will work here. From the dog, I helped the food. Doesn't make any sense. We can't fill in this blank unless we know the English target sentence. And it's, I'll feed the dog. So it's going to be inu ni esa o yarimasu. But remember I said that sometimes you learn a rule? Like we learned a rule, right? We learned that yarimasu is to down, to give down. But we can also say agemasu. Why? Because we love our dogs. We think they're equal. We, we treat them as equals or family members. So we say inu ni esa o yarimasu. I'll feed the dog. I'm going to give him the food. Okay? All right. Kare wa yoku presento o something. Well, let's see. Let's look at it. Kare wa yoku presento o. We know these parts, right? Kare meaning, it could mean him, but here it means boyfriend, okay? Boyfriend, my boyfriend often present something. My boyfriend, we don't know the verb, but what if it was agemas? Kare wa yoku presento o agemas. Yeah, that works. That means my boyfriend gives a lot of gifts. Not to me, to other people. He gives, he often gives gifts. Uh, kare wa yoku presento o yarimasu. Also works. He often gives presents to the dog. To someone below him. We don't know. Uh, kare wa yoku presento o kuremasu. Yeah, that works too. He often gives me presents. To me. Uh, kare wa yoku presento o moraimasu. Yeah, that also works. He often receives or gets presents. Okay. Uh, kare wa yoku presento o itadakimasu. If morao works, so does itadaku. Okay. He often gets from above presents. Kare wa yoku presento o tetsudaimasu. Okay. In a stretch, that does work. He often helps with presents. So maybe you've been dating for a few years and every Christmas you give out tons of gifts to the orphans. The children with no fathers and mothers, you're there for them. But you know what? Your boyfriend, he helps you with them. Presento o tetsudaimasu. That can work. But normally it would be something like present wrapping or, you know, present distribution or something like that. Not just helps with presents, but it, it can work contextually. Okay? I forgot to really make it a quiz. Keep track of your score, okay? Now, what if we actually wanted to say, my boyfriend often gives me presents. Now, we know exactly what we want to say. So only one verb would work here. What is it? Kureru. Kare wa, my boyfriend, yoku often present o kuremasu. Gives me presents. Okay? Moving on. Musume wa sensei ni advice wo something mashita. Hmm, let's see. Uh, musume wa sensei ni, that could be to the teacher, advice wo Agemashita. Hmm. My daughter gave her teacher some advice. Uh, grammatically, yes. Culturally, no. You're not going to give advice to your teacher. Okay? This is weird. Uh, you're definitely not going to say yarimashita. Like to talk down to your teacher. Like, I gave my teacher some advice. Now, theoretically, it could happen. Let's say we don't respect the teacher. I don't know. There's all sorts of situations. Rules could be broken. And these verbs are used often to give context of the level of that person or what respect level you have for that person in your brain. So theoretically, it could be, Musume ga advice o yachatta. I don't know. Theoretically. This teacher's so dumb, we gave advice down to the teacher. Maybe. Okay. Musume wa sensei ni advice o moraimashita. Hmm. Yeah. Got advice from the teacher. Maybe morau is okay here. We'll talk about why it can be okay in just a second. But if we're going to show a little bit of respect to the teacher, we want to use itadakimashita. Received from the teacher. Lowering yourself, raising the level of the teacher in respect. Uh, musume wa sensei ni advice o tetsu... Uh, probably not going to happen. I can't see a, a child helping giving out advice to people. So uh, logically it doesn't work. So what do we got? What's the actual thing we want to say? My daughter got advice from a teacher. So there we go. What is that going to be? It can be moraimashita, even though we said equal or lower. Why does that work? Even though 
your daughter's obviously not equal in status societally, typically to a teacher. There should be respect for the teacher. Why? Because Japanese people, we can use itadakimashita as well. Let's get that out of the way. You can use itadaku or here. If we're just talking amongst ourselves uh, with, we, we don't care to show respect to the teacher, not because we don't like the teacher, just like it doesn't matter. We're just talking casually. We can say, got advice from her teacher, not a big deal. It doesn't mean you're disrespecting her. But if we were talking to someone and we knew that we wanted to show deference to the teacher or that the teacher would somehow hear the words that we said, we're definitely going to say, itadakimashita. This is where it gets slippery because you think, oh, they used moraimashita, they're being rude to the teacher. They're not. They're not. It's just that the teacher's not listening. They're not there. It's out of earshot. I'm not really specifically going out of my way to show respect. You know, it doesn't mean I'm being rude. It just means I'm not going out of my way to show respect. Right. Okay. That section is now done. We're done with that section. Now we're going to do a little bit more. There's there's more ways to, there's more verbs, guys. I'm so sorry. These are bonus. These are power-ups. You're going to hear them. I have to give them to you. Before we do that, though, we need to look at two things. Kenjogo, which is like humble speaking applies only to the actions of the speaker. It's used by the speaker to raise the listener's status by lowering your own. That's what Kenjogo does. It's humble speech, okay? And then there's Sonkeigo, which is respectful speech. And this applies to the listener's actions. It's used to show respect to the customers or people in higher status. So basically, let me, let me sum this up. Kenjogo is what I have done as the speaker, and Sonkeigo is what the person over there has done. Moving on. Here we go. Uh, tenego just means polite speech. So in polite speech, we have morau to receive. Even though that means equal status and lower, it's still polite speech because we got moraimas is polite. Even though the verb itself is not showing respect, it is still polite, moraimas. But in the humble language, it's itadaku. So you use itadaku to be humble. Okay? I will receive it. Ageru, polite language. Sashi ageru. Lower your status. Sashiagemasu. You'll see this on Japanese TV. You'll see this. Sashiagemasu. I, I present this to you. Okay? Kureru, to be given. Or, that's polite speech. Or, in respectful language, kudasaru. To be given. Sashiageru will be in the book. Kudasaru is just added here for the video. So, you know what? Sometimes you need to watch the videos. So, now let's use these verbs in some possible conversations. So let's say you go to a friend's house and they say, Ocha o dozo. They present you some tea. Have some tea. All right. Naked jet. My hat just dropped off the desk because I was so shocked that I have the word naked here. And I'm going to give you this fake story that I accidentally put this in here. Uh, like a YouTube thing. It's a YouTube thing to act like you made a mistake. But I really should have said native Japanese. But I was trying to be funny. And I'm not going to lie that I did look for naked photos of our chibi characters. and They don't exist. Uh, they don't exist on the hard drive, at least, that I'm aware of. Now we're going to watch the longer videos of the videos we watched in the beginning. We're going to go a little bit more in-depth, and I'm going to go really in-depth on a few of them. Here we go. Ready? Ace-san, arigato. Ace-san, arigato. She's saying thank you to Ace-san. Ace-san is probably someone that in the chat has said something. Koji-san doyo, just like Koji-san. That's what doyo does there. Bokumo, me as well. I have been helped by everybody from the Uminchu people. Now, Uminchu is probably the name of her fandom or her group. She's Umi Shino Nome. So maybe Uminchu is the name of her followers. Okay. Just like every, like you guys are the Zero Army, for example. Okay. So I would say, Zero Army no Minasan ni Taskete Maraimashita. Now we learned that Temorau means receiving the benefit of the action. Taskeru is to help, not help out. Tetsudau is just help out. Taskeru is to actually help somebody. It could also mean saved. Taskete moraimashita. I was saved, got the benefit of being saved by everybody in that group or helped out by everyone in that group. This one takes a second to understand, but hukkatsu means restoration. But what happens is I think this person hasn't tweeted in a while. And this is their first tweet in a long time. Fukatsu, or maybe the first tweet after they were sick, right? When something gets damaged and it's restored, it's fukatsu, okay? So kyo, fukatsu tsuito shita toki. When I did my restored, my restorative tweet, when I did my first tweet back after whatever, when that happened, 
いっぱいいいねとリプをいただきました。Many いいね is the like button, okay?I received many likes, いいね is a like. と、I don't know what リプ is, I think it's just lip, like, like, like probably just lips. リプをいただきました。Even though Japanese has a word for lips, it's くちびる。I don't know why they use リプ but you know, hey, Japanese loves English. So, リプをいただきました。So, I received, here it is, person is putting themselves humble, being polite here. They received many likes and lips. And then we're just doing some final thank yous. Umi chan, that's her. They're referring to her as Umi chan. And there's no and in there, but that's Umi chan. Pause. Umi chun no katagata. Katagata is a polite way to say hitobito, people, or just hitotachi or hito, people. Just saying thank you to all of them. Nante attakai in daroka. Oh man. Attakai means warm. Attakai. Nante attakai. Oh man, just so. Why? How are they so warm? That's what we're saying here. Ah,、uh, this is a very short one. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Ah, kubi o fukuyo no tissue. Uh, we received tissue. What kind of tissue? Kubi o fukuyo no tissue. Remember when we learned yo in a video a long time ago? I have a whole video on just this. Something yo is for the use of something. For example, maybe there is a type of food and it looks really delicious, but it's actually inu yo. It's for dogs. Kubi o fukuyo no tissue is. Tissue that I can use to wipe my neck. We received some. So he, there they are right there. I guess he sweats a lot. Alright, how much did you understand? Wa in the evening at night, chime o narase nai no de. Because I can't ring the chime, the doorbell, at night, ima made to kawarazu. With no change from up until now, shizuka ni quietly haite kite imashita. I entered, and because we're saying kite imashita, it means they're literally inside right now. Haite kita means came inside. I came inside and I'm sitting right there in that location right now. So kode ai kagi o nakushite shimatta kara to uso tsuki. So, the I kagi is a copy of a key. Nakushite shimatta. I accidentally. Te shimau is what does that? Remember? Oh, actually, no, that's a book five thing. Te shimau is something that you do unconsciously or with regret or something that happens in the end. Okay? So, nakushite shimatta means accidentally lost the key. Didn't mean to lose the key. To uso tsuki. I lied saying that I accidentally lost the key. Shutome ni agete ita I kagi o morai mashita. And I received what? What did we receive and who did we receive it from? Shutome ni. Shutome is the mother of the husband. So it's a woman speaking, we know that because it's her husband's mother. So the ai kagi, the key, the copy key here, what about it? It's the key that we had given to the mother, right? Shutome ni agete ita ai kagi. We're directly modifying ai kagi. The key that I had given to my husband's mother, I got that. If you want to watch the whole thing, by the way, you can go to the Oshioka channel. They have a bunch of cool stories like this. I think you'll enjoy them. Alright, let's analyze that. The good older man dropped omusubi is like a rice bowl, a rice bowl, a rice, a rice the whole bowl went in, a rice ball. Okay, omusubi is a type of, it's like onigiri, I guess. He dropped that into the hole and got a treat, a takara, a treasure from the mouse. Let's watch that again. So he got a special treasure from. The mouse that lives in that hole. Okay, so that's 
Look at this whole thing right here. This is fun for me to t teach all the time. All of this is the topic. Remember early on in book one videos, we talk about this. If you remember a couple lessons back, I said everything before wa is the topic or part of the topic most of the time. And everything after the wa is a question or a statement of the topic. Everything before the wa is normally the topic or part of the topic. This whole thing is just the topic. If we go backwards from the wa, oji-san's an old man, but how do we further define the old man? We keep going backwards. Warui oji-san, bad old man. Sore o kita, warui oji-san is the bad old man who heard that. What did he do? Everything after the wa is a question about the topic or a statement. What's the statement? Otakara o ubao toste. Ubao means to take or to steal, okay? To take from somebody. So they tried to steal the treasure. He tried to take the treasure. He went into the hole. There's that teshimau again, which is that don't don't worry about this unless you really want to look it up. It's in book five. Teshimau is again, he ended up in this case going into the hole. He ended up going into the hole and he wasn't able to come out of it. Kaete means to come back. He couldn't leave the hole. That's what he gets for trying to steal. And there is our musubi is another way to say onigiri, I guess. All right, next one. All right, by the way, this is a typo. This should say no kuroba and not kono kuroba. Uh, I am the subtitler and I messed that up. Sorry. Dewa, eh, doi-san ni. So, dewa is like a statement to say, okay, then. Okay. Dain-san ni. Dain is the group members. Dan means group. In is member. Group members. She's talking to the people watching her video. Eh, do. So, to the members of the group. Shiawase. Kouun ga arimasu yo. Shiawase. Happiness. Kouun, good luck, both of those. Arimasu yoni, so that you may have those. Kouun no kuroba wo agemasu. I'm giving you a good luck clover. A good luck clover, she says again. Again, this should say kouun kuroba. Good night. I would totally watch this channel. <laughs> it looks fun. Kabocha ga kapi kapi ni de. Kabocha is pumpkin. And kapi kapi means it dried out. Kapi kapi. It became dried out. So, nattan de. Un de like that is no de, just shortened. Natta no de. Nattan de. Same thing. Daichan. Daichan, name of the, I don't, what is that? Some sort of beetle or a cockroach? I have no idea. Kyoa. Looks like a beetle. Ringo agemasu. Ringo o agemasu. Ringo agemasu. I, I, he's not really saying the O, oh, that gets dropped, but it's in both of these subtitles. It's not really there. He says, Ringo agemasu. Kyoa. Ringo agemasu. I'm going to give you an apple. See, he's using ageru when he's talking to a bug, a le legitimate bug. And he loves the bug so much that he's giving them. He could have said yarimasu, right? But he has love for the bug. I want to talk about this one. There's something interesting happening here that you should know about when she's using... Teyaro. Watch this part where she says Teyaro. Daitai Toyota Shat you know. So you know Toyota cars, these Toyota cars, Koyu no ga aru to you no Oshiete Aro. Koyu no aru to you no Oshiete Aro. Now here Oshiete Yaru, we talked about in a previous video. Teyaru means to give someone the benefit of that action. So he's going to teach her. Oshiete yaru. She's saying that he said that to her. I'm going to teach you. Listen again. Daitai, uh, no, Toyota, 
and he gave me this. He gave me this saying, I'm going to teach you something about Toyota cars, but I'm going to promise you right now. He did not say to her, he didn't say that. Most likely he didn't. He said, But she is using Tearu in this way. She's using it in this way to show his level of expertise or that he knows this information and she doesn't know the information. So she's making it a story by using that. So don't hear something and assume he was being rude to her or he was talking down to her. He wasn't. I'm, I promise you. I mean, I don't really know. I don't really know, but that's my 100% professional opinion. Let me teach you about this thing about Toyota cars. And then he gave me this. Gave this to me. First of all, he gave me this. <laughs> she says it like three times in a row. Watch, watch. He gave me this first. He gave me this. Now she says it in informal. And then he gave me this. Like she said, he gave me this. He gave me this. So he gave me this. When you use tape form like this, it's an and. So it's like he gave me this and. He gave me this and said, look at this. And we don't know what happens after this because we'd have to watch the entire video. Moving on. This is 100% a tongue twister. <laughs> Can you say Ryu Lara, Ryu Lara, Ryu... This girl, I think me and my wife spent, this is like the second most amount of time we spent researching today on this particular video. Because I didn't know what was happening. We were trying to figure out who was who. Listen to this. I mean, just try saying that. Just try, try, try. So it's, wait, wait, no way. No way, masaka. So, hyoshi means the cover. So, she got the cover of a magazine. And in celebration of that, iwai. But what is ryu, ryu rara? What is it? I thought that was her name. Okay. But we have the next line showing right here. Ryu no papa ga ryu rara ni. Ryu's papa to ryu rara gave. Ryu no papa ga ryu rara ni no piasu Gave us Louis Vuitton earrings. Okay. Uh, piasu means earrings that you use in a hole. And if you say earring, it means a clip on, just FYI. I thought she was Ryu Rara herself. Okay. That's what I thought. But it turns out she's Ryua. And there's another girl, Rara. And together they are Ryu Rara. Do not go to this channel. It is creepy. Now, when I search for YouTube videos, I'm not looking at the entire channel. I'm looking for the words, Kuremashita. And I found it and I thought, ah, oh, she's kind of cute. And I like that it's a young girl because it's going to show like a different vibe from the older lady right before her. But do not go to that channel. It is very creepy. You will be on the FBI's list. Trust me. Because I think this girl is 12 or 11. Kibaya is like someone that's overly showy. Gaudy, glitzy, loud of makeup, etc. So gaudy, glitzy. All the girls are very gaudy. ]ってますってますってますか? I swear to God, if you could say that twice in a row. I'm gonna try. God! Twice. Here's what happened. Ryurara as a group got on this Kogyaru magazine cover. And Ryua's father, which is her, she is Ryua, speaking about herself in third person, which is what cute girls do often to, I don't know why they do it, but it's a thing in Japanese. So when she says Ryua, it means me, right? My father, Ryua's father, gave us, who are Ryurara, Louis Vuitton earrings. Let's watch it again in full. Yeah. 
やばすぎ、That's so crazy! プレゼントしてくれました。Now, here's that tape form again. He presented to us, gave us the benefit of that action. He gave to us. てくれる means to do to us. This one is a little bit challenging, and I'm going to explain something to you that once you know this, It will help you a little bit. So let's listen to the whole thing all the way through. I know, this is a book that is a little bit of 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 a book that is a Not in an anime. It happens with natural speech. In natural speech, people start to say something, restate it, and then they've got their thoughts together and then they state the whole thing. Okay? That's what he's doing. He says, Now, if we translate that, it says, In reality, the thing that I can help you with is this. That's what he's saying. But he doesn't finish that. He doesn't say, He doesn't finish the statement. But in the overall, if you listen to the whole thing, it makes a bunch of sense. He's saying, So here's what I can help you with, is what you might translate it as. Here's what I can help you with. But he goes, Ma, right, and he, re- and he stops and he restarts again. Ready? So with 5 million yen, the, the fact that you are getting by, sumu means to get by with, With relatively small amount, s k u n a m e n i of 5 million yen, but he doesn't complete that statement. He could say, I think that's impressive that you're able to get by. He doesn't. There's nothing coming after that that finishes that statement, okay? But if you look at the screen, there's other hints. Kibou gaku, desired amount is she wants、uh, 2,000 million or 2,000, 10,000, give me a second. Niseng mang is seven zeros, 20 million yen. She wants 20 million yen, and what's left over is that she doesn't have yet. Is 200 million or 2 million yen. Okay. Hyakuman is a million. So 2 million yen. And right now, she's, even though she wants 20 million yen, she's getting by with 5 million yen. And he recognizes that. And he was going to say something, but he doesn't. Now he says the actual thing he wants to say. Hey. If you have me make a choice, is what the, like, the, we don't really have that kind of a saying as far as I know. Well, for me, it's more like this. I want to help you. Like, out of the choices that I have to me, the two choices, I want to help.、はい、by myself, do something. I am a person, hito, by the way, is what we're talking about. I am a person that wants to get money by doing things.、はいはい、It's not the feeling that I want to just. Uh, put the money in your trust and get money back. Okay? Azukeru means to have her hold the money. I don't want to do that. Edu means to gain.、Hey. That was it. Right? So let's watch again. I just know that the first two things he says, even though they're connected, and if you're not studying Japanese, it all makes sense. You're just like, oh yeah, like, I see what he's saying. But when you're studying Japanese, you're like, wait a minute. Is this one sentence with two gas statements? It, it's, it's frustrating sometimes. In, this, in your level right now. But as long as you put into your head that people sometimes start a sentence and don't end it, start a sentence and don't end it, you'll be better. And if you're ever weird chance that you become an interpreter, you're going to have to know that. You're going to have to learn how to deal with that sort of thing. So, this is some sort of like Shark Tank thing, right? It's Shark Tank, I guess, and she's going to them and presenting her plan, and he's like, Look, I want to help. I don't want to just give you money, I want to help. That's what he was saying. Final one. And luckily, the last one's easy. All right. In the meantime, Matsubatsu. Wait, is that me saying that right? Matsubatsu. Matsubatsu means crutches, okay? I only learned this maybe four years ago. Matsubatsu. 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 Oh my god. Matsubatsu. Matsubatsu is a cane, by the way. Okay. 
Matsubatsu is a type of cane, essentially. It's a crutch. Matsubatsu de seikatsu suru koto ni nariso. In the meantime, it looks like for the near future, my life style, my living is going to be with a crutch. Toriaizu wa matsubatsu e de seikatsu suru koto ni nariso. It looks like it's going to be, for the meantime, me having life with these crutches. Wow, an entire week? That's pretty rough. And there's our verb, tetsudao. That's all we were trying to do this for. So, oh yeah, nanika, some sort of omoimono o motsu koto ni nattara. If you end up having to hold something heavy, boku ga tetsudao kara, I'll help you. So, enryo naku itte ne. Without holding back, with no reservations, and naku, please say it. Oh, by the way, yeah, that thing, she's getting ready to ask him something. All right. Woof. There we have it, guys. We have learned five new verbs from lesson 13 in book four of Japanese from Zero. And it may be at points you were bored, and maybe at points you were like, I got it, I got it, but this is all important. This is part of farming in Japanese. The game of learning Japanese requires a lot of farming. So let's keep farming, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Jenny. I'm not wearing pants under here. I got shorts on, just for the record. Yeah. And by the way, also, uh, another side note, uh, it's like four days since that video you watched in the beginning. Uh, I had to pull this shirt out of the hamper. It's very, very awkward, but it took me four days to edit that first edit sequence. So uh, if you want to give me a comment and a subscribe, I appreciate it. Please, because it kills me to do this much work and not get at least a little bit of pleasure from the, from the upvote that you might give me. Bye.